Eminem just dropped a new song and his new album, The Death of Slim Shady, is dropping next week. So today we'll talk about how Eminem kind of changed my mind on this new album with this new track. So let's jump straight into this. If you want to stay up to date with everything surrounding hip hop, make sure to subscribe and also become a part of this community by joining our Discord server in the description. Real quick, if you don't want to listen to this, make sure to skip 10 seconds into the future, but you can now sign up for my free newsletter with the first link in the description. It comes every Sunday and it recaps everything that's been happening in hip hop over the past week, so make sure to do that. So a lot of people were upset with me after my last video that I made on this new Eminem album, The Death of Slim Shady, Coup de Gras, as I now know it is pronounced in French, where I talked about my worries for this album. Because the last single that we got, Houdini, which I've just been hearing over and over ever since I made that video, was not what I initially expected and in that video I talked about my worries about him clinging on to the old Slim Shady persona and him trying trying to reach a lot of fans, but not necessarily really succeeding in that with that single. A lot of y'all pointed out that the song was doing so well commercially that I couldn't possibly be correct, and that is true. I mean, just looking at the numbers it's doing on Spotify within a month was crazy. Also, the, the music video uh, views after just, I don't know, a couple of weeks with 100 million, that's a lot on YouTube, so y'all definitely right. The song is doing commercially really well, but I just don't think that's ever a good indication of actual quality of the music or by any means of subjective personal opinion that somebody could have. And I really understand y'all's arguments, and a lot of y'all are definitely right and brought your point across really well by saying that he's trying to capture a lot of the old nostalgia and that maybe someone older than me who was, you know, with Eminem along his whole career Career, understands this more, I get that. A lot of personal attachment is there when it comes to growing up with an artist. But if you don't want to hear someone else's opinion or you're just not capable of hearing any other opinion than your own, then just don't click the video. Because in the video title, it was directly, I am worried. So it's not like we're worried, I was worried. But that's besides the point. Now let's talk about this actual new song called Toby. So we got a teaser for this thing about a couple of days ago where we actually, you know, got the word that this Tuesday we were getting a new song called Toby with Big Sean and Babytron. So both artists from the Detroit area, I think that was kind of the the vibe that he was going for, putting on younger artists as well. Big Sean is not that young anymore, but it's three different generations of Michigan, Detroit rappers all coming together on a song. Which, first of all, I want to say is pretty cool. Also, that Eminem is always down to see what's happening in the culture, see what's happening in hip-hop. And put, putting Babytron on the song is crazy. To have Babytron on one of your two lead singles for your album, that's pretty big for Babytron, I want to say. So, big shout-out to Babytron. That's huge for him. So, this thing is drop, dropped yesterday on Tuesday, and we're getting a music video for it, which that teaser was for. On Friday, in that little teaser, we could see Eminem with the chainsaw, which reminds you a lot of like with the old D12 days or some stuff he did like uh, 2010 to 2014. A lot of chainsaw aesthetics were also going on back then. So that was kind of cool to see. Probably also pretty nostalgic for a couple of people older than me. But I guess we're going to see in the video him cutting up Slim Shady. That's kind of what it's hinting at. But now let's get to the actual, you know, song. This thing dropped, and I want to quickly also say the cover art is pretty funny. The Spider-Man meme. Um, and, you know, M is a big comic book fan. We know that. As in his childhood, he was reading comic books. He made a lot of references so far as well in his career to comic books and superheroes. So that's pretty cool. And they're recreating that. And the hook is Tobey Maguire got bit by a spider. Me must have been a goat so that he got bit by a goat you can also see the goat in the back of the cover looks pretty cool it's funny it's funny it's just it's it's nice song and i gotta say the instrumental on this thing i really like it's a long build-up over the course of the verses from big sean and babytron that never quite reaches its climax it's the only thing that i gotta critique because you're you're expecting something more than what is actually happening then at the end but it's still cool it's a dark more menacing very haunting beat but it works really well, and it's definitely the chainsaw aesthetics as well. Eminem then only comes in in the last third of the song, which was 
Also something that I was uh, pretty put off by. I wasn't expecting that. I was like, when is he coming in? It's Big Sean again. It's Baby Tron again. When is M actually going to come in and spit his verse? But he delivered pretty well. It's, a, it's not like his best verse. It's not like he did a, a rap god thing on here. But I think that really would have been not the place to do it. So I'm happy that he just stuck to what works. Some clever bars on here. Also from Sean and from Baby Tron. It's a cool song, and I feel like a lot of y'all were also correct in the comments under the last video. What I did want to say real quick is that the song has gotten like millions of views on YouTube alone in the first 24 hours. It's crazy. The numbers Eminem is doing with these two singles is crazy. Seems a little bit suspicious, but I know M is a big artist. That's probably all real. No, but what I wanted to say is that a lot of y'all were probably right that Houdini... The song that I was so worried about was probably the song that he wanted to catch a lot of old fans with as well. By, you know, reincorporating the hook from Without Me in the first part of the track. But also making a lot of references to Slim Shady and him being this dual character of Slim Shady and newer Eminem. He wanted to capture both generations and this track, Toby is the first of the real songs we're getting on this new album. Also something that I thought was pretty worthy of pointing out is that it wasn't the Slim Shady voice or anything like that on this on this new uh, track. It was the new Eminem. So I'm guessing the album will be new Eminem as well, uh, which we didn't you know, either have on, on Houdini neither. But it's just something, something that I was a little bit worried about, but it's still, I was worried, but it's still not happening, so that's good. So if the rest of the album is in the quality that this Toby track is on, I'm actually pretty safe to say that I'm not that worried anymore. Now, obviously, it's dropping next Friday, which I wasn't even aware of. You know, I saw the date and I was like, shit, Ju uh, July 12th, that was the release date. So we're getting the album next Friday, obviously. I'll keep y'all updated, so make sure you stay subscribed. We'll probably have a lot more info to come out before the album actually drops. It's gonna be pretty hype. Uh, I'll definitely make a, a live listening party for this, because that's a big album. And uh, I wanna I wanna see how, if, if, I, if I'm still that worried after listening to the album. So make sure you also follow me on Twitch for that. But until then, I wanna know what y'all think about this too. What you think about Toby, the new single? Were you worried like me that I expressed in that last video? Did this kill your worries a little bit at least like it did for me? Or are you still, you know, full on Eminem, Houdini is the best song ever, Toby as well, and this is going to be album of the year? I sure hope so. I just want good music. That's all that I want. But let me know all your thoughts on Eminem, on, on the death of Slim Shady, what you're expecting from the album, the concept of the album. Also now considering the new track, maybe we'll also get a lot more info on the lore in the music video on Friday. But let me know your thoughts on that in the comments down below. If you watched this video to the end and liked it and you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button and go follow my social media and most importantly, join my discord in the description. Until the next one, we'll have an incredible day and y'all take care.